Hello everyone, so in today's video I'm going to be showing you how I decorated my fish tanks for spring and or Easter. And I'm just going to show you how I did too, um, just because uh, it's all the same procedure for each fish tank. But everything for this project is pretty much either you should already have it at home, or if you have to pick it up, it should only really cost you under $5 to do this whole project. So basically all I picked up were a couple sheets of window clings and I got those from the Dollar Tree. And I also got some wrapping paper and this was from the Dollar Tree as well. Um, and I'm going to be using some fun springy patterns that I can probably keep on there for the entire duration of spring and summer. Um, so the backgrounds aren't specifically Easter, but the window clings are. And I get a lot of comments asking if I speed up the audio, and the truth is I don't. Um, just for some reason when I'm filming, I like to talk fast so that the video isn't too long. Because if I talk, like, you know, super casually like I normally would talk, I feel like the video would be way too long. So I normally just talk kind of fast to get everything done so that the what I'm saying in the voiceover right now can fit in with the clips and so there's not any overlapping or anything like that. It just makes it easier for me and probably makes it a little easier for you because you don't have to sit here through a 30 minute video. So that is why I do that um, in case you guys were wondering because I get that a lot. But what I'm going to be using for this project are just some window clings and then I got a few different colors here because I wanted a different color for each tank that I have. And then you're also going to need some measuring tape and you're going to want these either the soft kind or like the carpenter. Um, side, but you're going to want something bigger than a ruler because a uh, ruler probably won't be big enough for your tank. And then you're also going to need just a pair of scissors. And you're also going to need a piece of paper and a pen to write down your measurements if you're not going to be able to remember them. Um, you're also going to need some tape. I don't think I have it laid out here, but I, you're all going to need some tape just to tape it onto the back of your aquarium um, because it will not stay on its own. But basically, I'm just doing this on the floor of my fish room just because it's easier. It's right here with my tanks and so I didn't have to carry my stuff around. Um, but ideally you should probably do this on a table, um, but I'm just going to get right to it and I will tell you what I'm doing as I go through the steps. So just keep watching. So the first thing that I'm going to be doing is just taking my measuring tape and measuring this, the front surface of my tank. Um, I can measure it from the front because the front and the back of my tank are the same. You won't have to measure the width because you won't be touching it at all, but um, you're going to want to measure the length and the height. So after you got your measurements down, um, like I said earlier, if you're not going to be able to remember it um, or if you're worried about forgetting it and so you don't have to remeasure it, I would recommend writing them down on a piece of paper uh, just with a pen and that's what I did here. And I also um, wrote down that which one was the length and which ones were the width um, just in case they're pretty similar and you won't be able to tell exactly which is which. Okay, moving on, the next thing you're going to want is you're going to want to roll out your wrapping paper on the floor. And you're going to want to do this, um, make sure it's have perfectly smooth. And like I said, if you don't have a table, then you can just do it on the floor like I'm doing here. Um, but now I'm just taking the measurements and I am making little marks on the wrapping paper so I know where to cut. Um, because I don't want to cut it with the tape right there, just because it get in the way. So I'm just making little marks onto where to cut. So I'm just making the marks and then I'm going to cut it just like so. Now once you've got it all cut out, you're going to want to just kind of measure it to the back of your tank um, to make sure that everything lines up. Now with my 20 gallon here, the filter is actually overlapping on the back of the tank. There wasn't enough room between the filter and the glass for me to kind of slide the wrapping paper through it um, in order to cover it up. So I did end up um, just cutting a little bit of a hole, I guess, <laughs> in the wrapping paper in order for the filter to fit um, so that I wouldn't have to like, un like take the filter off um, just because that would have been more work than needed. So I just cut a little hole out and then I was able to make it uh, fit right on the back like so. Um, and then the next thing I'm gonna do is just get some tape and start taping along the edges, um, as much tape as I need. And I want to make sure that the wrapping paper background wasn't like specifically like Easter bunnies and stuff like that, because I want to be able to keep this part all the way through spring and summer, because um, the window clings can come on and off if they went uh, Easter, like no problem, but the other one would be a bit more work. So I wanted to make sure that that was season neutral, stuff like that. So once you're done taping it on, then that's pretty much your background. And if this is where you want to stop, then you're done. <laughs> but I wanted to go a little bit further and add some window clings as well. Um, and so I had gotten a couple sheets of window clings um, Easter themed from the Dollar Tree. And I decided that I would stick them onto my tank as well. Um, they go on the same way that you would apply them to a window. Um, and the instructions are actually on it. So basically, 
it just said to just kind of wipe down the surface of the glass, leave it damp, and then you can stick the window cleans to it and you just want to smooth out the bubbles. Um, smoothing out the bubbles is a lot harder than it looks, um, but if you can't get them all out, usually by the next day, they're out. Um, so when I'm doing it, as you can see right here, it like looks really weird, but in the after pictures that I'm going to that I showed you at the beginning, and also I'll show some more at the end, you can't tell that this, like, this clears up. It doesn't look that freaky afterwards, but... So on the 20 gallon, I decided to keep it more spring. So I just use a little snail, a butterfly, and a ladybug. Um, and those ones can go all the way through uh, late summer. Um, but I decided to keep it a little more eastery on the five gallons. Um, so one of the tanks, I put a bunny with some Easter eggs and also a chicken wearing a bunny costume, which in my opinion is the best thing I've ever seen. And then on my other five gallon, the one with the McGuppies in it, I just put some Easter eggs along the bottom and a flower and then a little bird as well. Um, so when Easter is over, these will peel off just super easily. There won't be any residue or anything because it's not a sticker. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video of watching me decorate my tanks for Easter. Um, it's not as much of a how-to, it's just kind of me showing you how it's done. You can take the steps that you wish to do, or you could do none of it and just sit here and enjoy the video. Let me know if you've ever decorated your tanks for Easter or done anything similar like this for any holiday, and you can leave that down in the comments below. And also let me know what you think of it if you've never tried this before. Um, and yeah, I will see you next time. Please subscribe for more videos like this, and have a great day. Bye!